All right, we good. Turn it up a little bit. Turn it up. 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 Ah! 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 Oh shit! Ah! 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 We in the building. Yeah, damn. I forgot to press record on this shit, but we in here, boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On the recording, y'all got. It. Late a little, a little bit. Late, yeah, know. it's my fault. It's my fault. <laughs> but y'all will be all right. Yeah, it'll be all right. All right. So uh, thank y'all for checking us out. This is a Triad Hip Hop Podcast, episode 201. 201. Yes, sir. We're back in the building. If y'all missed it last week, we did it real big with the big booty midgets. Yeah, we that, had big know. booty midgets, the strippers. And, well, at least in our yeah, minds, we did. Table. Yeah, in our minds, we did. <laughs> in our minds, we did. <laughs> you know, twerking yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> But mm-hmm. um, but yeah, man. Uh, so we back to do it again another week, you know. Um, and we appreciate y'all for hitting those buttons, like, share, share subscribe, subscribe, like, share, share subscribe, subscribe, like, share, share subscribe. subscribe. All right, so we we got it rigged up a little bit, you know. It might it might be a little shaky. Yeah, uh, we ain't got our green screen as best as we want. Yeah, but, but we got know, the we clear gonna, screen. You know yeah, what I mean? We gonna make do with the best we can. Yeah, that's so. what we do, right? All right, so how was your week this week, my man? Uh, it's been a little crazy, man, but uh, like I said, man, just things just happened with the whole, you know, my schooling and stuff. Yeah. Like, I found out that I'm going to have to be graduating much later. Uh, but, uh, what I was going to say, I, uh, this week wasn't too bad. Got some things done. School's about to wrap up. Um, went and saw that Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie. Okay, okay. Yo. Yo, I, man, I I'm saw a commercial. You, it looked decent on the I'm commercial. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if you like the game, okay, you need to see that. It's shit. worth it. Okay, if you like the game, like the okay. classic joints. Yeah, you need to see that. That's what's up, man. You can't you beat that, that, man. Sonic Two. Yeah. Um, I was a little skeptical about it, but um, I never actually saw the first one. So oh, you gotta see yeah. the first one because I was skeptical that it was gonna mess it up, and I was like, all right. Nah, the first one wasn't that bad because you know, the, I think. I think what was messed up with the first one was the design of, you know, because when it first came out, it was looking, they made Sonic right. look like shit. Right. But then they got him right. Yeah, once they got him right and everything, it was pretty good. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, the first one was good. I think the first one was good as far as, like, the development of the development of the characters was a little bit better. Okay. The second, okay. the second one, it was more focused on Sonic. And uh, you know, tails in this movie, knuckles in this yeah. movie. So I was more focused on them. Yeah. Um, but I mean it was it was good. It was good. I mean it's I mean it's it's worth seeing. Okay. I mean okay. I mean it's probably one of the better video game movies to see. They're doing it they doing it right. And supposedly <clears throat> Mario's supposed to come out. I don't mean to take this no, out. You're good, you're good. Yeah, Mario's supposed to come out um at the end of Dece- at December, supposedly. Okay. At least that's what I heard. I don't, you know. Hey, but it's a lot of stuff coming this year, yeah. man. But man, Mario got to catch man to catch up with Sonic. Yeah, yeah. Man, I think Mario was, Mario had to do some. I mean, but it, but you know, what I'm saying you really can't compare the two because they right. kind of like apples and oranges. They, like, are. they are. You know, what I'm saying like Mar- Mario has things that I like him f- for Mario, and Sonic got things I like for Sonic. But right. Anyway. anyway I'm going to stop talking about, you know, nah, grown-ass man talking about fucking cartoon <laughs> video game characters and shit. shit. I'm about to do the same shit, man. Trust me. Um, oh, how was your week? I'm sorry. Oh, nah. My week was good, man. I mean, you know, it went by really fast. I ain't going to lie. Before I knew it, it was uh, the weekend again. I was yeah. like, oh, snap. Okay. Um, so, you know, I mean, you know, still doing the day-to-day stuff. You know, punching the clock. You know, taking care of business and family stuff, all that but um, but yeah, nothing too exciting. Uh, did you see the newest episode of Moon Knight? Oh, that's something I meant to do, man. I've been so busy, man. But yeah, I'm yeah, I'm on. I'm that's on what I this, said. I'm yeah. talking about that shit too. Yo, <laughs> I yeah. Now I like the first episode. I might do that tonight. Yeah, yeah. I gotta work on some shit, but I might do that tonight. That um, they're still going through the character development, so you can get introduced to his different personalities. So. You know, you get to see a different side of him in this one, so it's it's really good. Yeah. So any of y'all that's comic fans, Marvel, DC, whatever, you know, Moon Knight is uh good so far. 
Um, it's some people who've seen the third episode, but I, ain't, you know, it ain't out here yet. I think it's out in other countries, but Jeez. online, you go online, you get all kinds of spoilers. I'm like, dang, come on, y'all relax. Man, I don't want to know all that yeah, shit man, yet. Yeah, I, I think that's what, see, that's why we in the situation we are now with the whole, uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, back in the day, people had the fire stick and it was jailbroken right, and all that shit. Right. Everybody done got into it. Now they ain't nothing, yeah, we just gonna close all that shit. Yeah. Man. And now it's just like, yeah. Cause yeah, the Wild Wild West of the internet, man, was fun. You know, you get this and that, but now, yeah. not now. It's like the new um, Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. It's so many people out there talking about spoilers and, oh, I seen the movie because I work with such and such or I seen this part and I want to give y'all some sport. I'm just like, I don't want to know everything. Calm how about down. I'm like, how about y'all shut the fuck up? Right. Let the people, you know, right. you can, you know, and let people watch the movie so they can actually, you know, they can formulate it. Yeah, yeah, they can enjoy it. It's like so many people want to be the first. I want to be the first report. I just found this in the Doctor Strange movie, and I'm just like, oh, I'm sick of it. I'm, you know, I ain't mind seeing one, maybe two. People talk about what they thought it was going to be, but once it got too many spoilers, it was just like, I'm good. Well, see, I, I think a lot of that, I mean, especially like, uh, well, especially when, I mean, hip hop is a real good example. Yeah. Like, you remember back in the day, people didn't get, you know, they didn't get their hands on, especially you being from up top. I know you know. Yeah. Like, there's, you know, you can only get your hands on certain tapes. Right. Like, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, you know, you had that dude who's like, yeah, I got the, yo, right. this joint out. I got the hook. Yeah, up. I got that joint. And you know what I'm saying? And I, I think what what it is, man, I think scarcity, I think that's what it is. Back in the 90s and the 80s, we had a technology, but we still had scarcity. Right. So that really made it more yeah, exciting exactly. to really be for the product. Yeah. Up. Yeah. But now, now it's no, just they like. Have no patience. They don't want. I just need to just tell me now. Tell yeah. Me now. Yeah. Tell yeah. Me. Yeah. It's like, nah, I, I want to be excited when the movie come out. Yeah. You know what I mean? They've been giving away shit for like the last month. I'm like, the movie don't even come out till May. Yeah. So, you know, I don't know. That It is what it is. But, yeah. you know. I'm still excited about it, but I try to avoid all the spoilers and stuff. But um, but yeah, so my week was good. You know, no, nothing too exciting uh, to report. But um, you know, we can go ahead and jump into the show. Yeah, we got yeah. a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, do want to give a rest in peace to the to the young rapper, um, Gunu. You know, we didn't get the reporter in last week, but um, you know, after he passed, you know, they took his body and kind of propped it up, put some clothes on him and put him in the middle of a club so all his friends could feel like they had one last night of clubbing with him, you know what I mean? So a lot of people feel like, you know, that's kind of strange and, you know, it's it's too much, but what do you think about stuff like nah, that? I, honestly, you know, I mean, I think it's honorable in yeah. my opinion. I mean, yeah, you might have your, you know, you might have, the, you know, like, yo, that's this is all we do, you know, there's, but I mean, I think sometimes this whole tradition of like you know the funeral mm -hmm. and and it bro that is not for me. Oh dang! <laughs> oh dang! <laughs> oh that's like oh, the cucumber mint. Yeah, I appreciate. It. I'm gonna drink it, but damn, that's different. Yeah, that's a cucumber that's different. mint. I'm sure that shit is healthy as hell, but well, damn, it's not not it caught you caught me right up in there. Dang, not real healthy, but it's yeah, that's the, that's the joint right there. Yeah. I like weird flavor. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. so going back. My bad. Nah, you good. You was like, oh, shit, nigga. <laughs> <That's just laughs> like, <"Damn>, man. Man. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, it's a Yeah, you, you good. Know, you I good. always hooked me up with a drink, you know, cu cucumber mint, and, uh, yeah. you know, it just kind of took me by surprise. Yeah, he's like, man. I don't know what that is. It's, uh, it's different. It's yeah. different. But, but anyway, uh, carry on. Like I was saying, um, so... Yeah, I think it's all about I me. Mean, I think a lot of people get, uh, get a. We're so caught up in the tradition of, you know, you know, if someone dies, right? You know, and then that's what I'm saying. Some like some of those people, those young people, they probably ain't never been into like a formal ceremony or form like churches or mm -hmm. you know, not now. So I, I feel that like what they did was an honorable thing. Like they, we not faking. We're not, you know, we ain't putting on the facade that, you know, we this, that, and the third. This is what we do, and this is how, you know, we're going to party it out and 
and things like that. So I, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I respect that, man. I mean, they, they, that, that's the way they, and that's the way they trying to groove. You know what I'm saying? They trying to, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, and realistically, I mean, that's what, you know, the Africans, man, they, they really believed in that. You know, they didn't, they don't mourn when people die. They celebrate like, Hey yeah. man, he, he died. He went, he going on. You know what I'm saying? We like, I think in this, especially in this society, we, we have this whole, and I'm not condoning people, especially like young people dying, people getting killed and things like that. I'm not condoning that. But what I'm saying is we made death so much of a, a horrible process right. that we can't really celebrate. You know what I'm saying? We, it's just in, 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 in this country, yeah, it's so much of a detriment. That I mean, death is a part of life. You know what I'm saying? We all going to die one day. Yeah. I mean, we, you know, we regret, you know, it's inedible. Some people don't look forward to it. I mean, I mean, for me now, I don't look forward to it. Maybe like come back, you know, a couple years, you know, I'm, my body broke up and everything. Maybe be like, you know what? I think it would be so bad. At least, at least I'll be out of this. You know what I'm saying? Right, so, right. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just make it so, so much of a detriment. I you feel know, you on that, so. man. Well, you know, we definitely want to, uh, you know, send condolences to yeah. him and his family. Um, also, while we're talking about uh, condolences, want to give a shout out and rest in peace to DMX. Today marks the one year anniversary of his death. Uh, so he is sorely missed. Yeah, in one the day to, community. Yeah, one day today. One day. Yep. Um, so he, uh, you know, and I, I like how they did his funeral. You know, they they drove him in the uh, the big the big joint, the big truck uh, through the streets and took him to the funeral home and all of that. So they kind of, in a way, that was kind of the same thing. You know what I mean? They didn't uh, prop him up anywhere, but they made sure he had a rough rider type funeral. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? so yeah. They had the rough rider bikes out there, and man, it was it was dope, man. You know, so I can appreciate that. So yeah, man, rest in peace to DMX. Let's um I guess give a moment of silence just to pay our respects. All right. Thank y'all for doing that with us. We appreciate you. Let me ask you this too. I saw a lot of posts on Biz Marquee too. Yeah, did he die around the same time last year? No, I thought he um, died more than the summer. He, he did, but um, yesterday was his birthday. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Then. And I meant to post. Yeah, about that it, makes I sense. Forgot. I that got makes sorry. sense. Remember, I told you I've been so busy. Nah, that's understandable. Oh no, I remember because we did the last, last the show, year. the last show we did shout him out. Yeah, on we the, yeah, him yeah out. we did. Yep. Yes, we did. So yeah, that's right. So yesterday was his birthday, and uh, definitely never forget him, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, so uh, I wish he had more time, man. Definitely one of them you wish he had more time. So. Yeah, it's, it, it's like, you know, I sent you that thing with uh, him, DMX, you know, talking to Karis one. It's yeah. Just like, it's like looking at those. I mean, whether you agree with what DMX did or even with Biz Marquis, man, it's like, man, we, we didn't really know what we had. Today. Right. Exactly. Really didn't know what we had, man. man it was listen. really gone, man. It, it, it's really like, you know what I'm saying? It really, uh, yeah, man, it, it really touches you sometimes. It really does, man. But, you know, that's that's the hard part about life. Sometimes you don't realize how good something is for you until it's gone. So, yep. but, um, but anyway, yeah, you know, rest in peace to Gunu and DMX, Bismarck. You know, uh, Prince Marky D, all the people we lost over the past couple of years, man. Man, we lost a lot, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, My man, uh, Ecstasy from Houdini. Shock G. Shock G, man. Hmm. Man, and really, man, that was crazy, man. Going back to, like I said, listening to the um, the Drink Tramp episode with uh, Bun, uh, not Bun B, excuse me. Money B and you know they had I think he, he they called the guy Young Shock yeah and how much like man we should have interviewed Shock G like mm-hmm. he had like a lot of yeah. a lot of stories and a lot of you know what I'm saying 
So, which is um, you know, I, I and then you know they recently did uh, MC Shan on there. Yeah, so oh, I, MC Shan actually came on. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. what's up. So that's I think that um, either either it just aired or it's about to air, but they've been showing clips of it online. So yeah, I seen which, you know I cool. seen one they had uh actually Kid Capri on there. Mm-hmm. I'm about to catch that one. Yeah, too. that was like a month ago, I think. Mm. Um, that was a good one. I did watch that one. They had they did DJ Red Alert not too long ago. So yeah. they they trying to get to the ones who you know been around for a while to make sure they catch them before they go on because you know people like MC Shan he got a lot of stories. You know? Oh yeah, so, man. Yeah, his looks like it's gonna be really interesting. So. Speaking of stories and stuff, that's something I meant to tell you. You see where they did um, you know Kid Creole. Mm-hmm. They um oh you talking about the story about him going to court? Yeah, he was found guilty, and they put motherfucking positive cage picture on the shit. Nah, I didn't see yeah. that. Yeah, wow. yeah, Grandmaster Cass. Kidding. I I follow Grandmaster Cass, and like Grandmaster, I think either Grandmaster Cass or Big Daddy can't. I'm leaning more towards Grandmaster Cass. He kind of posts like, yeah, you know, they go to show, you know. These these media outlets they try to just dictate who right. get you know what I'm saying right. and give my man Positive K a bad name you know what I'm saying and yeah. he ain't had nothing to do with it. not nothing and it's like yeah it's just a nigga just just throw them on there they look yeah. like yeah what's up y'all I see y'all on Facebook we appreciate you we got my man R two nah, R two actually that's Instagram I mean, he's that's on Instagram he's on Facebook right now yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> y'all know what I mean fake well, uh, Instagram. It's got my man R two G two and my man Samuel, so uh, we appreciate y'all. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, you know, I didn't mean to interrupt. You. Nah, you good, man. You good, but yeah, I just it's just like, man, that's just ridiculous. Man. Yeah, and see, that's why I support. See, that's why we do this, man, because it's really important for us to really tell you know, you know, the the right side of history for hip hop. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, because right. if you if you don't. You gonna let these, you know, you let these dumb motherfuckers tell it, you know, and these culture vultures, if we if we can name them that, you know, yeah, if they don't, if they, they don't, ain't gonna get the story. Yeah, right. no, not at all. I, I saw something else. Uh, I forgot the actress name. They were doing the whole Tupac versus Biggie thing. Like, who would win in the battle? Tupac, Biggie. She's like, Tupac, Tupac, this. He was oh, about to yeah. pick. And she wor- he worldwide. And, and Biggie, I mean, he was just about to. I'm like, you don't know the, what the it fuck. It was the actress chick, right? Yeah, yeah, it was like, you don't know what the fuck you talking about. Right. Like, you wouldn't even dare with right. them. Right, exactly. I think, I can't remember her name, but she Hispanic. Um, Michelle, somebody. Rodriguez. Somebody, yeah, yeah, somebody was like, yeah, she was fucking coked up. Right. <laughs> She did kind of seem like she was acting a little funny, you know, but uh, she don't she don't know. She don't know. Nah, man. man nah, no, man. not no lyrical. But now as far as now as far as like artistry, I think Tupac is the better artist than Biggie. I can't I can't take that away from. Him. And then, you know, too, like I said on here before, like well Pop Pop ain't as technical. Pop is kind of like I look at Pop like I look at Ryu from Street Fighter. Yeah. Pocket, pocket, just straight up. I'm gonna come in. I'm not doing no fancy bravado shit. I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna knock it out. You are gonna get what I'm saying, and then I'm leaving. Right? Right? You kind of like, look, you know, I got my techniques. You know, I ain't being fancy. I'm gonna strike hard. I'm out. So that, that's why. I, that's how I look at Pop. Biggie yeah. is kind of like. I wouldn't necessarily say he's a kin, but he he's kind of like, kind of like to me. I would look at Biggie like a coomer. Well, I wouldn't necessarily oh, no. say a Kuma. <laughs> I wouldn't. I don't know about a Kuma. Oh, that's for me anyway. But I mean, that's well, I mean, me. I I see it, but you know what I'm saying. But like, but Biggie's more of the you know the flash. I, I got the jewelry. I got this. Yeah, but see, my Kuma got the big joint. Guy. Yeah, but I but I'm also like, but I'm also you know I'm technical. I, I can tell stories. Right. You know what I'm saying. He's got all. He's got. He, he's not just. Um, like a New York, you know, like, oh, well, this is just, you know, he's just a, um, you know what I'm saying, just an NYC borough type right. in, in MC. I mean, he, I mean, he kind of, I think he was more like, you know, at least statewide, like the United States. I think, now I will give her that. I think he was, but I, he wasn't just strictly to Brooklyn. Right, right. He wasn't just strictly to Brooklyn. I don't feel that. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. But you know, that's one of them things, man. You could talk about Biggie and Pac and all of them all day. Oh yeah, so, man. Shit. And, you know, that's down memory lane, man. You know, I mean 
you know, and I hate it for the younger kids who don't really get to experience what we experience, but you know, they got their own artists that they love. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, a lot of their artists, you know, 10, 20 years down the line, they may not be talking about them like we talk about these guys, you know? That's the only thing. I'll just be like, who do y'all got that y'all can talk about in the next 20 years that's out right now, you know? I mean, the only, thing I can, only person I can really see really is Cole Ken- and Kendrick. Maybe maybe a few other people, but... Yeah. Yeah, and they've, been, they've both been out for 10 or more years, yeah. you know? So. I think... I think if well, nah, I will say Wale. Yeah. But it's just I mean, he's talented. I just don't think, you know, not right. You know, some somebody you know, it depends. Yeah. But yeah, I mean it's just um yeah, I mean I think I did a survey like a couple you know, back when I worked at a company that we won't talk about. But when I worked, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I was asking, I, I was asking people. I was like, "Hey, man, so who who y'all think is the most creative? You know, hip hop. This is around like 2014. Yeah, who's the most creative uh, person in hip hop? Really, no one can really give me an answer. Right. right. No one can really like. Well, everybody sounds the same. Everybody sounds the same. Yeah. It's like so. You don't have anybody that. Well, if a lot of people kept saying Wayne. Uh, I think a couple of people said Eminem. Yeah. Um, that was around when I left. Yeah, said one company. Said company. <laughs> one guy said the locks, which I don't know. I can't say they're creative. I think they're unique. Um, and they're I think they're unique. I don't know about the creative side. Yeah. But I think they are unique. They can do different things. Right. I'll give that to them. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's just. Yeah, man, I just, I just don't get it. Yeah, that's how you can tell, you know, what people, where people's heads are. You ask them a question like that. But, yeah, so, um, all right, well, let's jump into some birthday. Yeah, I'm sorry, quick. man. We, nah, we, we get, you know, yeah. we get in one of them conversations. Yeah, you man. know how it is. Um, all right, so uh, back on April 10th, um, which is not back on April 10th. That's tomorrow. Yeah. Um, hey, my man, Trick Trick. <laughs> My man Detroit repping uh, Trick Trick. Trick Trick. Also on the 10th, my man Q-Tip from the Tribe Called Quest, a veteran. All right. Also coming up on the 10th is Wise Intelligent. Uh Uh-oh. Poor Righteous Teachers. Teachers. Whom I do have his book. You know, it's a really good book. I still got to finish it. Uh, I got about three quarters of the way through it, but um, I've been meaning to get back to it. So, yeah, that's my my bus. All right. So, um, coming up on the 11th, we got my man David Banner. Representing the South. In the South. Yes, and sir. Also. Um, um, coming up, my man DJ Pooh, uh, representing the West Coast. Oh, all right. All right. Uh, he coming up on the 14th. Uh, and then uh, also on the 14th is the Brat. Uh, represent, she represents Ohio. Yeah. But she did it real big in the South, too, because she was with So So Deaf. So she did a lot of Southern uh, tours and stuff like that. Uh, coming up on the 16th, happy birthday goes out to Akon. The African. Yeah, I got one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Akon, I'm, I'm surprised he hasn't done more music. I mean, he nah, it's he, like he'll drop something every five years or something. He too, like, busy. Dude. <laughs> he too busy. He too busy trying to shit people and shit African Americans <laughs> and come to Africa to rob yeah, them. Man. That's what the fuck he doing. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, man. But uh, also on the 16th, my man Chance the Rapper. Got to give him props. He's doing big things. All right. Coming up on the 17th, a controversial pioneer in hip hop, Africa Bam Bada. Oh, wow. Still gonna give him a happy birthday. Um, mm-hmm. Also, another pioneer in the game, Grandmaster Cash. Grandmaster Cash, yes, my sir. man. Yes, sir. Man. I was done bad like, yeah, every every day. <laughs> every day, somebody do something fucked up. Right. I go back to what he said. Yeah, I was done bad on you. I was done good, man. I was done good on you. <laughs> All the time, man. Yeah, man. All the time. Yep. So both <laughs> of them got birthdays on the seventeenth, as well as a couple of. Uh, People who came out of the EPMD camp. All right. Red Man and K Solo. All both right. share the same birthday. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, and then um, last but not least, coming up on the 18th is my man from Onyx, Fred Rose Star. You oh. know what I mean? And they got their uh, verses coming up. So yep. let's give them all a skibbity <laughs> Hey man, yeah. you uh, you forgot a birthday, man. Did I? Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, we got one today, don't we? Do we? Yeah, man. Who? Man, you know, 
Who am I forgetting? Man, you know who we, who it is. You uh, know the one. You know that one rapper that dressed up like Nicki Minaj. Oh, I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> I am not. Nigga, I am not. I am not. Yo, yo, my man at the street. My man at the street. That's what I think about when I think about it. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm not even mentioning that bullshit. I was like, what the fuck is he talking about? I when I saw that shit, I put it out of my head. Yeah. I really put it out of my head. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, anyway, so uh, we're gonna move on to new music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah man. Um, so you know, have you heard about the new Black Star album? I I actually did. I did. Yeah. Um, when is it? When is it? I don't drop? know. Um, because they they're still kind of working on that. But Talib Kweli has been kind of putting the word out there that, you know, they finished it up, but they're just trying to figure out when they're going to drop it. He said, most deaf, uh, well, Yasin Bey yeah. is kind of stepping back because he doesn't really like dealing with the industry, so he he hasn't really spoke up about the album, but Talib is like, nah, I want to get it out there. I want to get the word out, but most deaf, he kind of had it with the industry, man, so he don't want to... Nah, man, I don't... He, he just want to stay out of the I don't life. blame him, baby. <laughs> Fucking blackballed his ass. Yeah, man. man. So, like, and not only, and you know, that's another thing too. A lot of people don't know he, he's a hell of an actor. He had a yeah. he had a movie called something the Lord made talking okay. about that black doctor that did the um, was it the black doctor that did the transplant? Like he was the first dude to do the transplant. I don't know. And they was actually, you know, a lot of people learned from him. Like he did like the blood transfusion or mm. something. Oh wow! And they got him. Yeah, they stripped all his potentials and stuff mm. so he had to go he had to be like that door to door doctor like selling medicines wow. and stuff back in the day wow but um yeah man but he um I don't think I knew about that one yeah, man that one's a good one something go the that lord made yo that's a good thing dude I know he did a good job in um 16 blocks with Bruce Willis yeah I had to uh, see that that was a good one um you know, I was always impressed with that. So he he's done some stuff. So he did. Um, what's that one with Jack Black that was pretty good? Um, I'm not sure. I think it was the UA. Not UA. It was something. But it was him and Black uh, Jack Black. It was actually pretty good. Mm. He um, yeah, man. A lot of people don't know he's a hell of an actor. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And um, I agree. I agree. He don't and actually, credit. he was an actor before he was an actual rapper, was he? Yeah. Oh, wow. Now, a lot of people don't know. know. Yeah. That I did not know. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Shout out to uh, Yasin Bey, a.k.a. Mighty Most. Mighty Most. Yes, sir. Um, but yeah, so, you know, we got a new Black Star album coming out. That's going to be Talib Kweli and Yasin Bey. For y'all who don't know. Uh, my man Bun B just dropped the album called Mo Trill. Uh oh. So you know he gonna he gonna give you that trill music. You know yep. what I mean? Um, I, I think they credit him and um, what's the name with making up the term trill? Uh, him and Pimp C. Yeah, right? about to say Pimp C. Yeah. yeah. So um, but anyway, uh, so that's already out the Bun B album. Um, the game's new album. He's gonna be called. I think I think he said it was Drillmatic. So, you know, he's trying to come out with something new. Speaking of the game, have you, you know, you heard about him trying to diss M? He's got, supposedly, he's got some little song that's about to be leaked called The Black Slim Shady. Wow. And he's supposedly, because he, um, you know, he talked about it on the Drink Champs, saying that he was better than M. And um, he was like, you know, so they, he been, what's his name? Wack 100 been talking about it. Wack is like, yeah, game about to drop something. He going to throw some shots at M. And he, he about to drop this and he about to do that. And, you know, so everybody's kind of been in an uproar about it. Like, okay, why, though? You know what I mean? I get he's trying to be a little competitive, but I don't yeah. know. I mean, I don't know why he's picking M out of all people. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Uh, I mean, the only people, only person I, I had to give credit for really going against M. Uh-huh. Uh, well, I would say on the commercial side, even though he... Even though Eminem made him go into do like the punk rock shit, uh, Machine Gun Kelly. Oh, okay. Now he did. Now he did that shit. I ain't gonna lie. I still go back and listen to that shit from time to time. 
Yeah, it was definitely it went hard. I ain't gonna, yeah, I it went. Lie. I mean, it was new style rap. Yeah, but yeah, it, it went hard. Now I ain't gonna lie, the the chorus was hard. Yeah. Um. But yeah, and uh, pace one, pace one went in. You, know, you know, back in the day. Now, mm-hmm. I mean, that was some underground shit. Yeah. But yeah, I don't think M really responded to that because, like, okay, yeah, how can you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, them the people that kind of help you along right. can't really. Yeah. yeah, that's that's a little controversial right there yeah. on that one. But yeah, man, so as far as um new music, got a couple more. My man uh, Bizarre from D12. Oh. He dropping a mixtape called the Rapid Fire Mixtape. Okay. So shout out to him. Um, There's a young rapper called Bia. She is from uh over in the UK. Okay. And um, she uh, dropped a song with J. Cole just a few days ago called London. And man, listen, I don't really listen to her like that. She's cool, but I'm not, she's not somebody I listen to on a regular basis. But that cold verse, that's cold world right there. The, the uh, man, I think I seen a preview though, but is she kind of like is she kind of like a grime artist or something like that? Because you know, you uh, know, their their grime is kind of like the trill and right, drill here, right? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think that's what, yeah. But yeah, it's it's a decent song. I like her in a decent way, but she's not somebody I want to listen to all the time. Yeah. But man, Cole without him on that song, man, listen. Yeah, that I song listen is all to over the place. Um, so yeah, y'all should go hear it. It's it's like uh I might have to do a lyrical breakdown on that one. But um that's out. And then uh Pusha T just dropped a new joint with Jay Z. Um, yeah, man, and it's 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 just it, that's all you can say to describe it. Yeah, <laughs> but it, you, know, it's, you know, I'm trying to remember the name of the song. It's um, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, um, anybody out there in the comments, help me out. The uh, new joint, but um, but basically, it's 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 Pusha T, Jay Z, and it's been making headlines because Jay Z. Uh, responds to phase on love in the song uh so that can kind of be our kind of first topic of the day phase on love kind of uh, went on an interview a couple of different interviews like two or three different interviews and talked about jay-z being fake like he's not a real drug dealer he probably ain't never so and based on what i'm hearing when he was doing the interview it sounded like he didn't really have proof per se he was more so saying because I'm from the streets and I've seen guys doing this stuff, the way Jay Z describes it, it ain't realistic. So in my eyes, he probably faking. So, but I don't think you can, I don't think you can say that just because you know his experience might be a little bit different than what you know, or or have experienced. Um, I mean, I don't see why Jay Z would have to lie about it. You know what I mean? Well, where where Fred's on love from anyway? Is he's he from, from the Cali? Uh, yeah, Cali, somewhere out in that area. So he he rolled with um you know a lot of them sugar and a lot of them on that side you know oh. uh, so you know he, he I mean, saying it's just weird you know yeah. you on the west coast you can't really compare your known experience whether it was you or somebody you know you know that's not really fair to say he didn't do it I mean you didn't produce any proof from what I saw you know it was just more so based on what I know this just doesn't sound right you know what I mean well I mean I don't I mean I can. Could... Not to play devil's advocate, I can understand why he would think that because, like, right. if he, if, like, look, I moved it, like, I was in here. Right, right. And I know you how you had to move on right. certain stuff. So, he, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, and trust me, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, I'm definitely not a street guy at all. At all. So, I don't, but I can understand, like, okay, look, I know. I know this is how you move. This is what you got to do to get this doing. The doing, right? I mean, even though they're on different coasts and there's different cultures, some of that, especially with the, with drugs, you know, what I'm saying, I would think some of that, uh, some of that, some of the processes and some of the some of the nuances and things have to, are similar across right. the board, right? So. I'm just saying on, and I'm not, I'm not defending Faison. I'm just saying that if the way he's listening to it, and if he's saying like, "Look, I've been in a situation like this. That when you know when I did this, this didn't come out right. 
by what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. So he, I could I can kind of understand that. Yeah, he was making one of the references I remember him making was something about um having a female versus a dude helping you out because I think he was saying that Jay Z was talking about you know people like Scarface and all of that and. He was like, you can't really compare Scarface. That wasn't realistic. And, you know, a real drug dealer is always going to have some sort of female counterpart and blah, helping them out. So, you know, I think that was one of the things. But I don't, I don't know, man. I'm not I'm not even in the game or have ever been in the game. Well, so I'm not going to try to figure that shit out. Me either. neither. So, you know, it's, it is what it is. But Jay-Z, um, he didn't really, like, go in on Face On. But you could tell he was kind of pointing it at him, like, just to kind of respond. He said, um, the phase I'm on, love, I wouldn't believe it either. You know, because basically phase on's whole thing is I don't believe Jay-Z. So that's why he said the phase I'm on, love, I wouldn't believe it either. And then he kind of goes in from there, you know. But that's how you could tell he was talking about phase on love. Dang, you know? so, that's nice. I, I mean, I, that was a nice way to Yeah, very clever way. You yeah. know, he, so he, he addressed it, you know, and I think it's a dope, it's one of Jay-Z's dopest verses, you know what I mean? Because yeah. Jay-Z has become one of the best wordsmiths out there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Next to Eminem, because, I mean, Eminem can put any words together. It's like, like they, you know, the whole rumor about him just reading the dictionary. You know, you can tell he really does shit like that. Yeah. And ain't nothing wrong with that. That nigga wants to master the right. game. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, he you know, I, I, I wouldn't even be mad at him about that. Yeah. But, um, so, yeah, so, you know, that's um, definitely... Uh, Something that I thought was funny, you know, as far as um, the Jay-Z, uh, Faison Love thing.